Welcome back to Elster's Rifles and Reloading, part two of this 22LR Ruger Precision Rimfire Series. And I promise to keep this short and simple, just the way I like it. So after part one, what I decided to do was completely tear down this rifle to its bare bones. First, I took the scope off and double checked the torque on the 30 minute of angle rail screws and made sure they're at 20 inch pounds. Second, I also double checked the two bolts that mount the handguard to the rifle itself and made sure that those two bolts were set at 40 inch pounds. I also adjusted the trigger to its lightest setting. And finally, I decided to bed the barrel block with aluminum foil tape. As for bedding the barrel block with aluminum foil tape, I put one layer of aluminum foil tape on each side of the barrel block in order to eliminate any wobbleness, which I noticed was a big issue. I could literally feel the barrel block wobbling left to right in the seat of the chassis itself, which that helped eliminate. And then I also put one single layer of foil tape on the left and right side on the top of the barrel block itself to make sure that that layer of tin foil tape uh, one up on the wings, the left and right wings of the top side of the barrel block. And also the very small section on the front barrel block, I put two other minute pieces of foil tape. So enough BS, let's take this out to the range and get this shot. Now that I verified all the torque settings and we got the barrel block bedded with aluminum foil tape. It's just gonna quick re-zero in this uh, scope, being that I took it uh, off and put it back on and if everything goes well we'll quick run to six by five at 100 yards okay so being that i stripped this ruger precision rim fire down to its bones took off the scope i double checked the torque on the scope rail and even double checked all the torques on the handguard uh, bedded the barrel block and the front block. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to re-zero this in at 50 yards. So we're gonna take a couple quick shots at the 50 yard mark. And of course, right when I'm about to take my shots, it starts to rain. Just can't win sometimes. Well, I would say the barrel block bedding was an obvious success. Um, so obviously this was my first shot here, adjusted down, that's four shots right there. I would say that's probably a little over a half inch group. Uh, now this is spectacular, especially for CCI standard velocity. Um, I would say this is probably about a three eighths group and that is probably a little over a quarter inch group. Uh, pretty much three bullet bullets in a bullet hole right dead center. So man that uh, Tin foil tape on the barrel block definitely worked. Holy smokes. Am I impressed? made a heck of a difference and um, So anyways, let's run this down to the hundred yard mark. I mean it is somewhat raining out So see how this works out, but wow that is awesome. So hey, not too darn shabby. Um, not exactly sure what's going on with these right hand groups. Um, but the other ones look pretty promising, you know, especially for uh, somewhat raining outside and some gusts of wind. You know, this first, this first five shot group at 100 yards, that thing's gotta be all of probably about a half inch group. I mean, that's pretty freaking impressive and you know, I'm sure I shot these all the way through so the barrel's somewhat heating up. Uh, and maybe that's what's going on here, I'm not exactly sure, but 
you know I'm guessing this first group is about a half inch this one's about an inch and a quarter this one's pushing two I'd say that one's probably about an inch and a quarter inch and a half inch and a half and that one's probably about two and a quarter so I'm not exactly sure what's going on in those right hand groups but these other four groups look pretty promising um, you know I'm, I'm sure I could shoot this some more but looks like uh, these clouds in the rain are really starting to roll in so I think I'm gonna wrap this up but I think this barrel blocking especially on this first five shot group was an obvious success so I'm pretty happy with that so I think if I came out here with no rain and absolutely dead silent no wind this would be pretty promising I think I'm gonna run another 50 yard uh, zero shim out my scope and take this back to reloading room. Wow, wow, wow. Man, that tinfoil barrel block bedding made a world of difference. And it was all with CCI standard velocity. You know, this first group is gotta be all three eighths. Uh, this is probably about a little over half inch, I'm guessing. Um, but what a night and day difference. And this is awesome. I, I'm 100% uh, positive. This all has to do with the bedding of that barrel block with tin foil tape. And that is just beyond impressive. Uh, looks like I need to adjust this down. Maybe about a quarter minute of angle. That's about it. And I'm going to shim this out. So that's awesome. I, I am beyond impressed with that. So now that I have my 50 yard zero, set at zero on my elevation, zero on my windage with a little bit of play. I think being that the CCI stator velocity is uh, sort of inaccurate with this barrel block bedding, I think I'm just going to stick with that. Really no point trying to any other ammo when it's shooting this good. Um, so now when I'm shooting at a uh, 50 yard zero, uh, I can dial it down and it won't turn anymore so I can go up to zero. That's my 50 yard zero. And then when I'm shooting at 100 yards, I can just adjust it up as far as I need to go and keep a track of that minute of angle adjustment for 100 yards. Windage is good. This is a success. Let's take this back to reloader room. We'll score up these targets. Well, wow, what a difference did that ever make, especially at 50 yards. Even though the 100 yard 6x5 wasn't totally impressive, I did get one solid group out of that 6x5. And being that it was raining and somewhat windy, I think I have nothing but better results coming in the future. And I think it's safe to say the tin foil bedding made the difference. Before I take off here, a couple quick things I noticed at least about these Ruger Precision Rim Fires. At least mine, it likes to be shot clean. I did scrub that barrel down before taking any of these shots. I even ran some uh, bore foam cleaner through this barrel, let it sit for a while, and I made sure that that barrel bore was spotless. Also, I noticed you cannot 
safety foot, this bolt, you got to make sure you run it with authority. If you short stroke it or if you run it too slow, that brass ejection, at least on my Ruger Precision Rim Fire, is really weak. In order to make sure that that brass casing is ejected with authority, you got to run the bolt with authority. All in all, I'd say that was very successful. And stay tuned to part three, where most likely I'll run another 6x5 at 100 yards, now that I have everything tweaked out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you next time.